Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add, edit, or remove payment methods and credit cards from your Firefox web browser that may have been saved. So if you do a lot of internet shopping, you may have certain credit card information and credentials saved within your browser. It's generally probably a good idea just to not have them saved within the browser itself. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about editing adding or removing, which is probably why you're here, it's actually to remove the payment method. Most people would have added it at some point during an actual transaction or at the point of sale, I guess, and then you were looking to remove it down the road. So that's why I'm making this tutorial for the most part. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by selecting the menu icon in the top right corner of the browser. Just go ahead and left click on that and then go down and select settings. On the left side, you want to select Privacy and Security. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath Forms and Autofill. And you want to uncheck the option next to Autofill Credit Cards. If you want to turn off the Autofill function, you want to go ahead and uncheck that. However, if you do want to keep that enabled, you just would keep that checkmarked in there, or you would turn that on, you would just checkmark it. And you want to go underneath Save Credit Cards if you wanted to modify anything that was already in here. So if I went ahead and actually just typed in some information. Here. So let's say I have a dummy credit card number saved in here. I just went ahead and put it in. If you wanted to modify, you just would select it and then select the edit button, in which case then you could modify the card number, expiration date, year, as well as the name on the card. And if you wanted to remove it, you just would select the credit card listed in here and then the remove button. So, pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.